How to move the shop all button in your Shopify store. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. This is going to be a very easy and quick tutorial and we are just basically going to be moving this shop all button. So basically we are going to uh, first move it the basic way or the Shopify customization way. And then we can also use some code to move it left or right if that's what you want. So let's just go ahead and get to the tutorial. So the first way, uh, which is just uh, allowing it to move it on top of other elements or below it, uh, it's very simple. You want to go to your online store here, and then you would want to go to your themes and click on customize for your theme, which should take us to the editor for our theme here. And we are going to be looking for the button here. So it's uh, within the image banner. So you would want to change the button so you can just go ahead and drag it on top of the text for example then you can just go ahead and if you have any other elements and your banner here you can also move it below it or above it so this is one way to actually move the button now what if you actually wanted to move it to the left or to the right uh, so you can actually view it better or for some reason you just want to do so uh, then we would actually need to use some code. So let's just go ahead and show you how to do so. Uh, you would want to exit out of the uh, customization tab here or the editor. Uh, and then from here, you would want to again, just go to your online store and themes. Now go to your theme here and you would want to click on the three dots right next to customize. From here, you would want to just go ahead and um, I suggest that you actually duplicate it just in case something went wrong with the code you have a backup for your theme so you don't you know lose everything but it shouldn't really happen but maybe you mess up uh, somehow and you add some random code or remove some and we don't really want any of that so just go ahead and duplicate it first and then we can just go ahead and move on to the edit code section so just go ahead to click uh, on uh, edit code and then from here we are going to be looking for uh, a specific file which we want to add some code in now though the file that we are looking for can vary it can be different for you it really depends on the theme and um yeah i think it's just a bit, just about the theme so anyways you are going to be looking for either base.css which is this one and it should be right under assets so base.css if not then it could be theme.css if not then it could be style.css Anyways, just go ahead and click on that, and then you are going to find a code down in the description below. Just make sure you copy it, and then after you copy it, you would want to go to base.css or theme or style.css, uh, and you would want to just go ahead and scroll to the bottom. So once you actually scroll to the bottom, you want to go to the last line here, uh, and just go ahead and straight up paste the code that is in the description. Now you can see here, justify content, and then it says left. This is if you want to move it to the left. If you want to move it to the right, it's going to be exactly the same. You just want to delete left and uh, add the right uh, in. So I'm just going to keep it to the left here, and I'm just going to click on save. And once it actually saves, we can just go ahead and exit out of here. And if we do that, uh, and we go to our online store again. The shop all uh, button and the elements here have actually moved to the left. Again, you can also do so to the right. It's completely up to you. So yeah, hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching.